Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to record vocals on your phone in BandLab. Open the BandLab app. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on Open Studio. Then tap on Voice Audio. The audio record screen now opens. At the top of the screen, tap on the settings icon. Then tap on count in. And tap on one bar on the pop-up menu. This will give you four beeps when you start recording. And recording will start after the four beeps. Now tap on the wave icon to return to the audio record screen. Tap on the red record button at the bottom of the screen. After the four beeps, start singing or talking. The red record button turns into a red square stop button when recording. Here we are again. Tap on the red square record button to stop recording. Tap on the back to beginning button to set the recording back to the beginning. Then tap on the play icon to hear your recording. Here we are again. Tap on the pause button to stop playback. If you don't like your recording, tap on the X icon. Then tap on the audio clip on the vocal track. And tap on the delete icon on the pop-up menu. Double tap on the track header to return to the audio record screen. To record vocals for a song, tap on the metronome icon to turn on the metronome. The metronome plays beeps in time with the song tempo when you tap the play button or when you tap the record button. To change the speed of the tempo, tap on the settings icon. Then tap on the plus icon to speed up the tempo and the beeps. Or tap on the minus icon to slow down the song tempo and beeps. The number in the middle is the current song tempo. In beats per minute. Each metronome beep is the same as a beat. Tap on the play button to hear the speed of the beeps. Now tap on the wave icon to return to the audio record screen. When you have the metronome turned on, plug some headphones into your phone and listen to the beeps through the headphones. This should stop the metronome beeps being recorded onto your vocal track. Here we are again. Once you have recorded your vocals, tap on the metronome icon again to turn off the metronome. Here we are again.
Now that you have recorded your vocals, tap on Auto Pitch. Auto Pitch attempts to tune your vocals. Tap on the classic icon to turn on Auto Pitch. Here we are again. Press on the intensity knob and drag up the screen to increase the amount of vocal tune correction. Here we are again. Or drag down the screen to reduce the amount of vocal tune correction. Here we are again. If you know which key scale your song will be in, tap on the key scale drop list. Then tap on a key note. And then tap on a scale. Here I have selected C major. Now tap on the key scale drop list to close the menu. Here we are again. Click on the modern rap icon to add a lower note harmony. Here we are again. Click on the robot icon to create a monotone robot effect. Here we are again. Click on the big harmony icon to add a lower note plus a higher note harmony. Here we are again. And tap on the duet icon to add a high note harmony. Here we are again. To turn off auto pitch, tap on the highlighted icon. So all the icons are greyed out. You can click on the headphones icon to turn on monitoring. Now when you sing into the microphone, you will hear your voice with any auto tune and effects that are turned on. However, due to latency, this often sounds like an echo so I recommend turning monitoring off. Now tap on effects. Here you can add your own effects by tapping on the plus icon. Or you can scroll through the ready-made effects presets. Here I will scroll through the presets and tap on Bright Room. The effects preset is now added to the vocal track. Here we are again. To remove it, tap on the FX preset again so it is not highlighted. Or tap on another preset. Here we are again. Now tap on effects to return to the audio record screen. Tap on the X icon to exit the audio record screen. Once again, if you need to open the audio track screen again, double tap on the vocal track header. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.